What you having there? There was a fly. Hey guys, it's Kerry. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting off this makeup tutorial bare face because I really want to test out how this Instagram new trend is going to work. I've been seeing this trend on Instagram lately and it looks really, really interesting and I wanted to try it out. It's like a reverse contour type of technique, but it actually works like at the end, it actually works. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So let's jump straight into this video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin because we ain't go anywhere without priming our skin. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Port Eraser. Please don't watch that. It's just when you buy it at Super Drugs, they put this stick off thing on it, and it's just so annoying. So I'm just gonna spray my face using my Maria Bedazu. I don't have to really say the last name, but I'm just gonna use the Rose Water Setting Spray. I'm just gonna. I am so ready for this. Woo! So, let's do this. So I'm just gonna like, cover up any blemishes that I have on my skin. I'll, I normally do this anyway. I feel like I still need to do it even though I'm trying a new technique. I'm gonna be using my NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Dual Concealer. I'm gonna use the lighter shade. This is, this is in the shade Honey. Use that to cover up my dark circles underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to go in with a small buffing brush, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to be using my uh, Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser. I am shook, you guys. I think I'm going to place this on like, areas that you normally highlight. Yo, you guys. <laughs> This is scary, you guys. The technique is to get like a really, really light concealer and like put it on places that you want to highlight. And then we're gonna go in with a dark contour shade. I'm gonna be using my Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. Just contour the areas that you normally contour. Yo, <laughs> this is scary. So now you're gonna do is get your foundation shade. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously right now. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Matte and Paula's foundation in my car. Grab my beauty blender and just start puffing into my skin, I think. Who did it? It's my mother. So hi to YouTube. Hiya! <laughs> What's up? Okay, so, mother's gone. I don't know about this, you guys. I honestly do not know about this. This is bad. I feel like the concealer is mixing my foundation. I think I'm gonna try using a brush. Maybe that will be better. Yeah, I feel like using a brush is like way better. You don't wanna move the product. You just wanna like dab it in. With the Beauty Blender, it was like moving the product. So I feel like using a brush would be, yo. I don't, I think I'm just trying shit. Yo. <laughs> I look like a different shade. Right now, I feel like a different shade. Like, right now. So I'm just gonna go in and set my under eye and like the places that I highlighted with like my concussion. There is so much crease under my eyes, you guys. I can't do. Okay, so I'm going to set my contour using my sleek face forming kit. I'm going to have that shade right there. When she done it, it looks so good on her, so I don't know why it's not working on me. Up on so much powder, you guys, I can barely see if my eyes open. There's so much powder in my eye right now. Right, so I'm going to grab my sleek translucent powder in dark. I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. Hopefully this will like bring back my colour. I'm just gonna ooh. I'm gonna use my colour girl ebony bronzer to bronze up my skin. So I'm just gonna set my face with my raised water. 
I'm gonna highlight, add some blush, and I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna quickly do my eyes and my lips, and I'll be right back, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts about this technique, and see if you guys should try it. So yeah, I'll be right back in about one second. So hey guys, I just finished doing my eyes and my lips, and you know what? It actually doesn't look that bad now. It actually looks like my skin tone now. It looks pretty good. So my final thoughts about this technique is that it works. Like, it actually does work. But I don't think I'll be using technique, you guys, because it's just, it's a bit scary for me. Like, I don't really like harsh contour and harsh highlight. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit too much for me. It's a bit too much. It's so much products as well. So, eh. I personally wouldn't use this technique. I feel like this is a fun, cute, quick technique it did save me about 10 minutes of my actual highlight and contour routine it actually did save me about 10 minutes of that time so it's it is quick like it's a quicker option but you do use a lot of products and you do kind of get scared halfway you know so that's the end of the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up show me some love in the comment section down below and make sure you subscribe down to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys